this is the basis for quite a lot of what we do uh, for the hamstring. Now, whenever we're doing bridge activities, whether it be hamstring curling on the ball, or whether it be your feet on the bench or the floor, we're going to look at doing the same thing with the spine. And that is that when we lift the hips up off of the floor, we don't just lift it as one, we're going to roll back. And by that I mean, you're going to try and lift, you're going to flatten the low back into the mat, and then you're going to try and lift one vertebrae at a time off of the floor, almost like if you had a string of beads and you had to pick a string of beads up. You could only pick one bead off at a time. You couldn't lift the whole lot up, and that's what we're trying to replicate with the spine. So as you come up, only one vertebrae comes off at a time, so you come up to about the shoulder blades into this position. I prefer to have this slightly rounded part of the back here, rather than having it in that arch position. And the reason for that is, it will become apparent when you do it, but the real reason for that is it actually works the hamstrings harder and the glutes harder.